Welcome. We've seen a lot of information recently about areas becoming more arid and drying out. And this is not just a matter of global warming, which is a uh, increase in temperatures, but there seems to be something more fundamental associated with the climate going on. So let's take a look at that problem. It's certainly been in the news recently. The Sahara is spreading north. Southern Europe is getting hotter and drier and places like Ethiopia are in deep trouble. The Kalahari Desert is spreading in South Africa, the Gobi Desert in China, the Badia region of Jordan, and parts of Mexico and the Southwest US are certainly getting drier. There seems to be something fundamental going on. It's not just a change in temperature, but it's a change in the way that the atmosphere is working. And it seems to be something to do with something called a Hadley cell. What on earth is a Hadley cell? Well, let me try to explain it. A Hadley cell is effectively a convection cell, sometimes referred to as the intertropical convergent zone, the ITCZ. Here, warm air carrying moisture rises at the equator where the sun is the strongest. And as it rises, it cools. And so most of the water in the atmosphere condenses out and falls as rain. That's why we get the tropical rainforests near the equator. At altitude, the air is cooled and is now dry and cold and moves away from the equator and then starts to fall back towards the surface of the Earth at latitudes of about 30 degrees away from the equator, both north and south. As it descends, it is compressed and heats up. And so it becomes hot, dry air falling at these areas. And then the return section of this towards the equator creates the so-called trade winds in the two hemispheres. The Hadley cell is not the only cell in, in the climate system. Those are the ones associated with the equator, but there's a feral cell, which is to deal with the temperate zones. And then there's a polar cell, which deals with the polar regions. And these cells all interact with one another, creating the weather and the climate that we observe. If you take a look at the map where the rainforests are, you see that they are all clustered around the equator. Now, if you then take a look at where the deserts are, strangely enough, they seem to cluster around the 30 degrees north and south. The problem seems to be that these Hadley cells are expanding. They're moving further away from the equator into mid latitudes. So here you have the, the Hadley cell system. But as the planet warms, the Hadley cell ascendant flow tightens and gets faster. And therefore, when it moves away from the equator, it spreads further away. So it expands to higher latitudes. And that's the problem that I think we're seeing now, that these zones are no longer at 30 degrees, but they're beginning to move further north or south, depending on which hemisphere you are considering. Well, let's take an example. I live near Washington, D.C., and you'll see that Washington, D.C. is on a similar latitude as southern Spain and Italy. So you might imagine that we'll be in a similar sort of zone as the um, southern part of Europe. Uh, until recently, that has not been the case. One of the factors apparently is, and I'm not quite sure why this is the case, that the west coast of continents are far more affected by the Hadley cells than the east coast of continents. And of course, Washington DC is on the east coast and Spain is on the west coast of Europe. But we can take a look at the recent climate data from NOAA about our area. And you can see there's a suspiciously large area of lower rainfall in our area. Now we're at 39 degrees north. So it's close to where the Hadley cells start to descend. And is this a portent of the future? I don't know. This may just be a particular trend for the current time, but it's something we do need to keep an eye on. Can we draw any firm conclusions from all of this? Well, this is still very much theory. There's been some measurements to back it, but there's not a great deal there. But as the Earth warms, Hadley cells seem to be expanding towards the poles. That means areas further away from the equator will start getting drier. And that may cause desertification in many areas. Perhaps the mid latitudes, 30 to 40 degrees, should be preparing for both floods and droughts. 
we can expect long dry periods punctuated by downpours and flash flooding. And that's the weather pattern we've been seeing recently more and more frequently. That means we need to do better flood prevention methods. So that's it for today. Until next time, stay safe and goodbye.